This is another lie being told by preachers I mean, against one saved always saved. They say, well, one saved always saved is Apostle Paul's doctrine. Who said that Paul did not contradict the teaching of Christ? Okay, let me show them one. Ephesians chapter 2, you read verse 8 and verse 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, not by yourselves. For it's the gift of God. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. So Paul was saying, don't do anything. You have been saved. No matter what you do, Christ has paid for it. And that's where the concept of one saved, forever saved, which is an heresy, is heretical. That's where it comes from. Jesus Christ never teaches one saved, always saved. Oh, really? So it is Apostle Paul. So what part of the scripture you do not agree with? The Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration of God. So if you are a Bible believing Christian, which I doubt you are not, but if you profess to be a Bible believing Christian and you do not believe the authority of Apostle Paul as being part of the scripture, then you are not believing the Bible. So let me stop right there and let me tell you something. There are so many things that Jesus Christ said about eternal life. You know, the book of John is famous for Jesus Christ using the word eternal life, eternal life, eternal life. And Jesus preached eternal life to those who believe. There are so many, there were so many people that followed Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry. That does not mean that those who followed him were all believers. That does not mean that those who followed him were all saved. But there were people who believed the Lord Jesus Christ. When they believed the Lord Jesus Christ, they received eternal life. They received everlasting life at the moment of salvation. So salvation is one time and it lasts forever. And Jesus Christ preached eternal salvation. One of my favorite verses in the book of John is John chapter 4 verse 47. Jesus said, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life very present moment at the very present moment you believe you understood it that is why it is very essential important crucial for those who are preaching the gospel to make salvation as or as clearer and plainer than anything use simple terms for people to understand the simplicity of eternal salvation we, we need to desist from using ambiguous words to try to you know to try to explain salvation salvation jesus christ explains salvation as being born giving people the understanding that hey if you understand the concept of birth you can be able to understand the concept of eternal salvation so jesus i mean just Christ used the word drinking water like if you understand that i mean drinking water is like that is that is that is salvation you will understand the concept of eternal salvation like eating so all these simple terms jesus christ used to explain salvation Jesus Christ preached eternal salvation. You need to read your Bible. You need to understand the, understand the scripture because the Bible is true and you are definitely false and you are a liar. So Jesus Christ preached eternal salvation.